Hi, I'm Tom. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Gelato Print On Demand. Gelato advertise themselves as a global print on demand supply company. They have 34 locations around the world. They mostly seem to be in Europe, and from what I can see, there's only around 9 of the 34 locations that print on clothing. What makes them different to Printify is that they don't allow you to select which print location to use. Everything is done automatically. It's not something you even need to think about. Now Gelato offer a lot more than just clothing. I believe they first started out printing posters and have expanded into other product ranges which now includes clothing and that's what we are going to be focusing on today. A little disclaimer before we start the review. I'm based in the UK so my sample shirts will be from their UK location and therefore only a small representation of their entire network. However, I am assuming that Gelato have some form of standard that their print locations work towards meaning that there shouldn't be too much variation between the print locations. I'm going to discuss the platform first, so if you're here just to see the print quality, skip ahead to the time shown on screen. I can't remember the exact timings, I think it was about a year or so ago when Gelato first started printing on clothing. I was invited to beta test the platform and product offerings. Now of course, Gelato were new to clothing and clearly stated that the service was in beta. Unfortunately, I found their service to be awful. I think I placed maybe around 10 orders and most of them just never turned up. Credit to Gelato, the customer service was, and still is great, they did refund every order but it didn't leave me wanting to use them for my business. Not until they had all the issues sorted out anyway. Fast forward about half a year and I decided to try them out again to see if these issues had been ironed out and it does seem like they've sorted most of the issues out. Let's get into the details. Gelato have a very easy to use web app, pretty similar to Printify or Printful if you've used those before. Offers all the usual marketplace connections, Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, etc. And everything you'd expect from a print on demand supplier. An easy to use order management page, a mock-up slash product creation flow. I don't really have any complaints with their website, I think it's pretty simple and easy to use. If you've got a store connected, then all your orders with connected products get automatically imported. But you can also place manual orders if that suits your business better. I'm not going to go through everything they offer because they offer a lot, but I can give you a quick overview. So using Gelato you'll be able to sell clothing, wall art, mugs, photo books, greeting cards, calendars and general stationery. Regarding clothing, since this is what we are focusing on today, the cheapest shirt they offer is around $8, and this is the Guild and Soft Style shirt. The Bella Canvas 3001 shirt, which is a shirt I have here, is a little more expensive being just under $11. Now, compared to Printify, where the same shirt will cost you a tad over $8, Gelato does seem to be slightly more expensive, and this goes for most of their products. However, you are getting easy global fulfillment, so if this is important to you, I think it might be worth the higher product costs. While we're on the matter of pricing, I should have mentioned one of Gelato's biggest downsides, and that is how they manage tax. Unless you're registered with all the US states and have resale certificates or European UK VAT numbers, then you will be charged sale tax or VAT on all your orders. I say this as a negative not because I think you should avoid paying tax, but because it ends up with you getting double taxed. For example with Etsy, they charge your customer sales tax and remit it for you automatically. Then when Printify imports this order, it knows that sale tax has already been paid and doesn't then charge you any tax. Whereas with Gelato, your customer pays a sales tax on Etsy, then you also get charged sale tax on the order by Gelato, which then eats into your profit margins. I really wish they would handle it the way Printify does. So the shirts I ordered cost me $10.95 each, with shipping coming to around $5. Just for comparison, the shirts I ordered from Monster Digital on Printify cost $8.05, with shipping being $14. So this shows you one advantage to global fulfillment, greatly reduced shipping costs and shipping time for your customers. If we take a look at some example profit margins, with Gelato, if you sell a shirt for $23 to someone in the US with free shipping, which is what I do, then this would come to about $14 with the Bella Canvas 3001T and shipping costs leaving you with about $8 profit. Of course, this doesn't take into account sales tax or marketplace fees. Speaking of marketplace fees, I have created an Etsy profit calculator on my site, which is completely free to use and allows you to estimate your profit for sales on Etsy more accurately. Let me show you an example now. Let's take the Guilds and Soft Style shirt this time, plus US shipping comes to a total of about $11.00. 59 cents. If we sell that on Etsy for $23 with free shipping, that gives us a profit after Etsy fees of about $9. The link is in the description if you're interested in using this calculator for yourself. 
Let's now go over the processing and shipping times. I placed my order on the 1st of September. Yes, I am very late with making this review, and my order was shipped on the 8th, so they definitely don't have the fastest processing times. However, delivery of my order only took one day, which is insanely good. From what you lose with their processing times, you definitely make up with the fast shipping times. Just a note on their processing times. I have been using Gelato for the orders I get from my European customers, and their processing time does vary quite a bit. For example, orders placed with a German address seem to ship out in a day or two. So so there's definitely some differences with their print locations. When the order did arrive, I was glad to see that it was packaged in a paper bag. I'm hoping all their print locations use the same packaging. Okay, let's move on to arguably the most important part, the actual print quality. The first thing I like to compare is how the print compares to the mock-up on the site. And as you can see, it does seem to match pretty well. I do think they printed slightly higher up the shirt than what the mock-up shows you, but this isn't that noticeable. The print size Gelato use is most similar to Swift POD on Printify, with about 3,700 pixels by 4,900. So it is on the smaller side, but will work fine for most people. Starting with the white shirt, everything here has printed well. Nothing sticks out as being bad or low quality, but it is noticeably less saturated than I'm used to. However, this might just be because I have the same design printed by other companies to directly compare it to. It's sort of in between Swift POD and Monster Digital in terms of saturation. If I was a customer and had just received this shirt, I don't think I would notice this at all. If we look at the dark print, this has printed mostly fine. It's only when you get close up that you can see the white fabric showing through slightly, but this isn't noticeable from a short distance away. Looking at the white photo, again this has printed fine, all the details from the original photo is visible, even right down to subtle shadows. I don't really have anything negative to say, it's a good print from my point of view. Moving on to the alignment icons, you can see that everything has mostly printed well and looks sharp enough. Everything does have a very slight blur to it, however this is only noticeable on the text. But even then, it's not that big of a deal until you get down to the smallest text sizes, which you probably won't have on your designs anyway. It does appear that they have some issues printing the thinnest lines though, so something to keep in mind if your designs are really detailed and contain fine lines. Looking at the colours, everything looks accurate. However, I can see that in the gradient that some colours have been missed out. This is especially noticeable on the purple to blue to green section. It seems that the in-between colours just haven't printed. Maybe their printers only have limited colour range, I'm not sure. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this print. There's nothing bad about it, and I'd feel comfortable selling this shirt to customers. Moving on to the black shirt now, at first glance everything has printed well and nothing jumps out as bad, just like with the white shirt. However, on closer inspection I can see a few issues, but most of them are the same issues as with the white shirt. Looking at the white print, while it is good overall, I can see that the white is a little patchy and a little chunky up close. However, I will say that this isn't a gelato only problem, this is just how direct to garment printing looks on dark fabrics. Looking at the different sections of white, some people swear that using enough white results in a better print. However, I I'm just not seeing that. Every shade of white has printed out white and they're all the same quality. I'm not going to waste your time and go over everything again as the print quality is pretty similar to the white shirt. So I'll give you a quick overview. The dark photo has printed perfect, no complaints here. The white photo has printed well, just suffers with the black fabric showing through a little bit. Looking at the alignment icons, everything has printed well, even the tiniest lines, a contrast with the white shirt. However, the black shirt does suffer from alignment issues, but only slightly. As you can see here, the C and the M squares are further down than they should be, revealing the white undercoat. This is the same with the gradient strip. Speaking of the gradient strip, this also suffers the same issue as the white shirt, with it seemingly missing out some colours. Overall, none of these issues are massive, and I think most customers wouldn't even notice these issues anyway. After every review, I like to give the shirts a wash, just to see how the print holds up, and I'm happy to say that the prints look exactly the same as they went in. Obviously, this is only one wash, but I will continue washing these shirts and report back in the future. Overall, I've been pretty happy with Gelato. Their service is pretty good and a massive improvement from when their apparel service was in beta. The website is easy to use and they offer a large range of items for you to sell, with the added advantage of having global fulfillment. I'm pretty happy with their print quality also. I've been using them for my European customers for a good six months now. It's not all perfect, as I have had a few issues, but they were all quickly fixed by their customer service people. I can happily recommend Gelato. Even if they are a little more expensive than Printify, the advantage of easy global fulfillment is worth the extra cost in my eyes. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about print on demand and selling online, please consider subscribing. See you next time.